All right, in this video, we want to find the equation of the rational function that has these vertical asymptotes and passes through the point. We have two different examples over here. So let's get started with the first example. The first thing we do want to do in a question like this is we want to replace the denominator with our vertical asymptotes. So I'm going to start with f of x equals n over, and then if I have x equals to 2, I know that my factor is x minus 2 because positive 2 is a solution to that. And if I have negative 1 over 3, that's just 3x plus 1. Then I'm going to expand the bottom because they want the bottom in standard form. That's going to be n over 3x squared plus x minus 6x minus 2. And then I'll combine like terms over there. Can write the f of x here as well. It's just n over 3x squared minus 5x minus 2. Now we just have to figure out the value of n and in order to do that, all we have to do is sub in the point they give us. So I'm going to replace my y with negative 1 over 2. And I will replace my x with 3. I'll simplify the denominator next. I'll just do that in my calculator. And I just get 10. And I'll cross multiply this on the other side. So negative half times 10 is just negative 5. So negative 5 equals to n. So now I can rewrite my formula. f of x equals to negative 5 over 3x squared minus 5x minus 2. And that's the solution. The first question right over there. Let's try the second question over here. Same steps, just a bit of practice. The first step, I'll just start by going f of x equals n over x minus 3. Over here, you don't want to actually write x plus 2 over 5 because that's going to create decimals and you don't want decimals and fractions in the same question. So if I convert negative 2.5 into a fraction, that's just negative 5 over 2. So over here, technically, you can assume that this is just 2x plus five because that will give me a solution of negative five over two. Again, I'll just expand and combine like terms in the bottom. And then I'll sub in my point and find my n. So I'm replacing y with 2 over 5 and x with 0. Then I'll cross multiply the negative 15 to the other side. So I'll just get negative 6 equals to n. And finally, we can rewrite our equation. f of x equals negative 6 over 2x squared minus x minus 15. And that's our final solution to the second question right there. If you made it to the end of this video and you found this content helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.